VC, what's up? Yeah, this is gonna be my first video of the new year. Um, I went to one place, one place today, and they usually don't have too much. I just went with my friends, just for the heck of it, just to have some fun. And they actually had some pretty good stuff, so I, I picked up some pretty good stuff. So, I, I'll just get started. First one is Pink Floyd Works, and this is a compilation album, and it's got some hits, some aren't as known, such as the several species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave and grooving with a pig, which is basically a noise track. It's kind of cool, but I don't know why they put that on there, but it's kind of cool to find this. But, um, it's also got an unreleased song called Embryo, which I have never actually heard that Pink Floyd song. We're looking forward to it. So that was a really cool find. Next one, I already had this album, but this one is a lot better condition. It's got a little bit of ring wear up at the top, but the vinyl is just great condition. It is Wind and Weathering by Genesis. Is the vinyl just great, perfect, perfect shape vinyl? So that was a really cool thing to find. And what we're listening to, Bad Company's 10, 10 from Six. I had this on CD, and I was really glad to see this on LP because I'm not the biggest Bad Company fan, but this was really cool to find. Because their hits are, they have some really good songs. So that was really cool. This guy is actually the singer of a band that I knew. That's basically the reason I bought it. And they had two of his albums, and they were both a dollar each. So picked it up. And I listened to the first one, it's not bad. It's Burden Cummings. He's the singer of the Guess Who. Still in the shrink rap. And this one's pristine condition and it was kind of funny uh, I didn't think anyone had ever really heard this guy before but um, uh, it was playing and my dad came up there and he said Burton Cummings and I was like yeah how did you know he didn't say he just but which is really weird because my dad said he doesn't really like to guess who maybe he doesn't know I don't know Next one is Dream of, Ch of a Child, Burton Cummings, uh, and this is a promo copy. It's got the white portrait label. And they both have good sleeves, like not just paper ones. And here is the label. Let's see, right there. And this is great vinyl, pristine vinyl as well. I haven't played this one yet. Next one. This is the Beach Boys. Buggin'. And basically the only reason I picked this up was $2. And it is a Holland copy. So there it is. I've never seen this label before. It's called Emmy Disc. So what it looks like. Don't see that too much, too often. And it's actually pretty good condition for how, what I paid for it. So for the sleeve real lint. Next one, it's another bad company. It's Holy Water. And this was really cool to find because this album is from 1990 when vinyl was just starting to die down. So I was really excited to find this. It's just incredible condition. incredible condition next Steven Stills his second album I'm guessing not a huge Steven Stills fan but it's 50 cents so there it is it's alright condition it's not pristine or anything next one Crosby Stills Nash their first album the gatefold is 
very, they're very, I mean, not that gifted. The jacket is very great condition, but the record isn't fantastic. That was not good. Next one is Steppenwolf Live. 50 cents, and I said, what the heck. April Wine, another 50 cent one. I think this is one of their more known ones. Nature of the Beast. I have one of their albums. I can't remember what it's called, but it's they're not bad. Next one, War. Why Can't We Be Friends? It's kind of funny cover. And last but not least, Billy Squire, Signs of Life. I really like a lot of stuff uh, Billy Squire puts out, and I've never heard this album, so for a dollar. It's great condition, so. Got that. And that's all I got, so. Real short video. Don't usually take too long on my videos, so. Until next time, see you guys later.